A river is continuously flowing water that is usually cold and full of oxygen. Each river changes depending on the land and climate through which its water flows. A river's water movement is crucial to the distribution of vital nutrients, gases, and small organisms such as zooplankton. Some important rivers in the world include the Mississippi River located in Central America, the Nile River, which is the largest river in the world, is found in Africa. The Zambezi River is also found in Africa. And the Yangtze River, found in Asia. Some common plants usually found in rivers are prairie cordgrass and duckweed. Cordgrass is a coarse, tough plant that grows in places that are wet for most of the year. The blades are long with sharp points, which are even capable of cutting skin. Duckweed is very common in the Mississippi River. They float on the surface of the water, and since they rarely bloom, their tiny white flowers are hardly ever seen. Animals are another big part of a river's ecosystem. Crocodiles and alligators can usually be found in rivers. They stay towards the mouth of the river, feeding on birds and fish. Beavers, which are North America's largest rodents, are another animal commonly found in rivers. They have large, webbed hind feet and a flat, leathery tail that helps them in the water, where most of their time is spent. The number one threat right now to rivers is pollution. Rivers contaminated by sewage becomes breeding grounds for harmful bacteria and viruses that affect all life connected to the river. Other pollutants, such as heavy metals, pesticides, and herbicides, pose as health hazards to human beings and aquatic life. The building of dams is another threat to the world's rivers. They cause shifts in flow regimens, changes in river water chemistry, and sediment disposition, eventually resulting in the altering of the river's natural ecology. However, if we do our best to take better care of our rivers, we can ensure that they will be around for future generations.